All right, guys, we're gonna swap it up a little bit, doing a little different. Um, I'm not gonna review anything. Uh, don't have any products or cool things to talk about. I'm just out here about to cut some trees down. I figured it might be a good thing to make a video about. You guys might wanna watch that and it probably won't get demonetized like all my other videos. So hold on one second. All right, uh, I had to get my chainsaw box opened up and it's really hard to do with one hand. So I'm gonna set you guys down for a second. All right, in my little box of goodies, chainsaw box. I got right here yeah, the old 455 Rancher from Husqvarna. Some people call it Husqvarna. Uh, I think around here in Alabama we call it Husqvarna. So yeah, that's what it looks like, and that's what I'm going to call it. Anyway, Husqvarna 455 Rancher. Oh, uh, not sure how long the bar is. Probably 20 inches. Um, as you can see. It's very worn off and it doesn't even have a label on it really. But I bet, swap it around. It's supposed to be engraved somewhere. Oh, there we go. Check that out. There it is, 20 inch, 38, 72. I guess that's the teeth count, tooth count. Made in Canada? Husqvarna, Can Canadian. That's the perfect way to say it, Canadian. Maybe it's not a Husqvarna bar. I don't know. It might not be. But anyway. Uh, I'm going to use my scrunch, my sharpener, uh, and the chainsaw. Where are you going? All right, anyway, this is uh, the land that I'm on. This is some land we bought to put a house on. Um, there's a lot of pine trees right where I'm at, kind of where we're going to plan on putting the house. Uh, sit right there, sit right there. You sucker. Sorry. All right. Uh, there's a lot of pine trees. A lot of them, um, are dead. You can see this guy right here, dead, 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 dead. Uh, these green ones, as you can tell, are alive. The little brown bunches like that are dead. This one that I cut down with the Cold Steel Trail Boss. There it is, Cold Steel Trail Boss. Awesome axe, uh, like a boy's, boy's axe, a little two foot, two pound axe. Chopped it down, uh, cut that one down. Cut two or three more down there uh, last week. But today, I'm gonna try to get this big boy right here laid down somewhere over there maybe in that gap right chonder uh the only bad thing is i think it's got a bit of a lean to it so uh i'm gonna have to use some wedges maybe uh the wind was blowing earlier today but i think it's calmed down a good bit um i can't really remember what direction it was blowing but it's pretty calm right now so that shouldn't be a problem oh uh, I'm going to need my GoPro because I'm going to put you boys, I'm going to put you boys on the GoPro. I'll get that in a minute though. All right, got my, my wedges. Crap, should have put bar in. All right, I'm going to rookie. I'm going to try to tote the phone, the camera, and this stuff under my arm without making myself look retarded. Can I say that on YouTube? I'm not sure. Don't tell anybody. I don't want to get in trouble. This might be the one video that doesn't get demonetized because it doesn't have guns in it. I don't want it to get demonetized because I said a politically incorrect word. So, you know, don't be telling folks. Oh, in case you thought there weren't any guns. Bam, there's one. That's my uh, MP shield. Uh, I've got another one in the truck for the... Uh, the bigger threats out here which the only threat would probably be like a deer or maybe even like a little bobcat and a little bob kitty anyway uh how about i just quit talking and get this stuff put together and then uh, i'll get you guys back here seem to have misplaced my gloves oh they're on my truck my bed got earplugs in my pocket got my glasses on got my hard hat should be ready to go all right 
excuse me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to find a place to set you guys up at, and I'll get started. All right, guys, this is going to be a first for me. Um, a, that's like the tallest tree I've ever cut, and maybe the biggest diameter. Uh, the one right beside it, I don't know if you saw when I walked over here, uh, it's about the same size, but it was a little shorter, and it leaned really hard right where I wanted to drop it, so it's pretty, uh, pretty foolproof. This one, it's more straight. It might even have a lean and non-desirable direction. I'm going to try to use some wedges on the back to get it to fall in that direction. The uh, reason it's the first, like I said, biggest tree I've ever cut. And I've never used wedges before, so I thought it would be interesting. Um, so don't grill me too hard. Uh, if you guys are like wood experts or loggers or whatever, uh, just let me know what I'm doing wrong. And I'd appreciate it. That'd be pretty cool. So... Um, we get the tree ready and make the front cut and back cut. Hopefully it falls where I want to. Get me old foamies. Get me old foamies in. And uh, clean the base of the tree up and we'll get going. Exactly where I wanted it. Uh, that's my pile. I don't know if you can tell on this little camera, but that's my pile right there of where my other trees are going. Um, and it pretty much fell like a champ. So I'm gonna take the little trail boss, go down there and uh, knock the limbs off, and I'm gonna take the chainsaw and bucket so I can hopefully get it out of my little road right here. So yeah, um, we'll see what that looks like. Big old boy right there. Should probably use the uh, should probably just use a chainsaw for this. Yeah, whoa, what was that? Oh, uh, may or may not have knocked over a squirrel nest, or oh, I hope it wasn't. There was a, a hawk that lives out here. Jeez. Uh, anyway, there's a hawk that lives out here. I hope that wasn't its nest. I don't think it was. I don't know what a hawk nest looks like, but stupid vine. Goodness. Um, like I say, hopefully that wasn't his nest. It's probably just a squirrel. Squirrel's nest. 
Hopefully there wasn't anything in it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, bros. There's definitely a nest of some sort. Keyword was, I guess. Sorry. Um, hope the uh, environmental people don't get on to me for squishing, for squishing that nest, whatever was in it. But hey, uh, people around here. We eat squirrels, so it was a squirrel nest. I'm not going to lose too much sleep over it, because like I said, we eat squirrels. My cousin Eddie, he usually eats these dead gum things. That is correct. Well, we do. Get out of there, double. So little trail boss is perfect for jobs like this. Chopping little branches, little trees and whatnot. Actually, this is like a vine. Heck, that might have been. That might have even been what killed that tree. Possibility. Man, I love this little axe. It's making me look good. Making me look like I know what I'm doing. Because it's sharp. It feels good. Cuts good. So, yeah. Trail boss. Good to go. Good stuff. Good on you. Cold steel. Yeah, boy. All right, where was I? Yeah. Bucking and limbing. All right. I'm gonna get the old husky out and get to work. Get my earplugs. I'm not gonna show them to you because they're probably kind of gross. They're my earplugs. I like them.
right, bro. He toes. Uh, what I'm gonna do? <clears throat> I got the big tree cut up. I got all the limbs cut off the top of it. Uh, it's a big straight pine tree. Um, the base of it or the trunk, I cut into three uh, 16-ish foot sections. Um, I left them kind of long just because it was straight, and you know, somebody might want to buy those pieces. I don't know that. Like I said, it had something killed it, so it might not be any good anyway. But I figured it wouldn't hurt to just to leave them that length. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook a snatch block to this tree right here. And I've got a cable. I'm going to hook this. I'm going to move my truck up here. Hook the front of my truck to the cable. I'm going to do the snatch block. Hook it to these three pieces. Back my truck up. And it'll pull these logs right into this little hole right here. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how that works. Woodpecker? I think that's a woodpecker. I don't know. He's climbing around that tree with his head like he's a woodpecker. Anyway, uh, enough of woodpeckers. Uh, I got this big tree cut down. Uh, that one. Cut that one down last weekish. Cut that one down today. Um, don't give me too much crap on my, my undercut here. My undercut actually looked good. There's the uh, the wedge piece that came out. Um, I think it's just when I made my back cut, I came around a little too far right there. Um, you can see there was only hinge wood here. There wasn't much. Oh, that's still in there. wasn't much hinge wood there. Just kind of separated. But uh, I was a good height. That's about two two and a half inches uh, above on my back cut. So I'm happy with that. I used wedges for the first time. They worked out pretty good. So uh, all in all. I got the tree laid where I want it. I got it cut into three uh, pretty good sized chunks. Um, the axe worked great. And uh, I got the, I used a snatch block and a really long cable to get the logs out of the way. Um, I bought it from my father-in-law. He said, so I got some smaller ones that are uh, smaller diameter, but they're longer if you need it. I was like, no, I got the one that was zip tied hanging on the shed. He's like, okay, that's pretty big. It ain't that long, but I got some longer ones. Well, like, okay, I get out here and unroll that joker, and it's probably like a hundred twenty-something feet long. So I think I grabbed a different one than what he thought I grabbed. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get cleaned up. Sun's starting to go down. I'm gonna have to go home and get cleaned up for dinner uh, so I can help cook. I think we're grilling tonight. Hey, hey. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, gotta get my camera crap put up, get my saw put up, uh, get all my stuff put up, and I'll be heading home. So, uh, hope you guys have a good rest of the week, and we'll see y'all later. <laughs>